When you're ready to buy a security appliance, how do you find the appliance that meets your requirements? You know your security requirements for firewall, IPS, and application control, and you also know your typical throughput. How do you size the appliance to match your requirements and pick an appliance that will handle your current and future needs? Performance numbers are available in data sheets, but these are based upon ideal testing conditions. The most reliable method is to test the appliance in a proof of concept. But how do you configure the appliance? For instance, if you're purchasing a security appliance for perimeter protection, then you'll want server response inspection enabled, and you'll want to know the performance number in this configuration. And what traffic mix will you use during the test? The Checkpoint Security Power Metric was developed to help in this part of the purchase process to ensure that you pick an appliance that meets your current and future needs based upon real-world requirements. The traffic blend used in security power testing is based upon research by the Checkpoint Performance Lab to ensure that it is a representative mix of real-world traffic. It consists of 68% HTTP, 13% SMTP, 10% HTTPS, and 9% other traffic, like DNS, POP3, and Telnet. The test is done with a typical security policy with 100 rules, with logging enabled and with network address translation enabled. The IPS profile is the profile recommended for the best security. We know the security power performance numbers for checkpoint appliances, but can we find the same metric for other vendors? Let's test the Palo Alto 5020 appliance. First, let's verify that we can recreate Palo Alto's published performance numbers to validate our test configuration. The device under test is a Palo Alto 5020 appliance. We test with Spirant Avalanche 3100B and 64 kilobyte objects. Here you see the security policy is one rule with any source, any destination, any application, and where the action is accept. Let's start the test and monitor the throughput. And as the test completes, you can see that we are able to achieve the 5 gigabits per second firewall throughput as reported in the Palo Alto datasheet for the Palo Alto 5020. Now let's proceed to the second part of the test, where we enable IPS, NAT, and logging and change to the security power traffic blend. Here you see that NAT is enabled. Let's start the test and monitor the throughput. In this test, we're not getting anywhere near to the datasheet 2 gigabits per second performance number. We're actually getting less than half of that number. Our performance in the real world configuration with a real world traffic blend is only 947 megabits per second. Let's test a checkpoint 12,600 appliance using the same security power test with the same real-world traffic blend with IPS activated and with NAT and logging enabled. This is the security policy for the appliance. Here you see that IPS is enabled and the recommended profile is the one for best security. Here you see that there are 100 rules with logging enabled and network address translation is enabled. Let's start the test using real world traffic blend. As the test runs, you can see that the checkpoint 12600 appliance achieves three gigabits per second in the real world test configuration. When running a proof of concept test with the same parameters, we find that the Checkpoint 12600 appliance performs three times better than a comparable Palo Alto Networks appliance. Mm -hmm.